Hey friends, CGS here, and I'm delighted to be here with Michael uh, demonstrating a couple of these, or oh, three of these, absolutely beautiful PRS guitars. This is the John Mayer Signature Series. You've got a custom 24 there, is it? No, this is That's the 509. 509, right. Yeah, this is, uh, we'll, we'll go through some of the sounds, but there's quite a lot going on on this guitar. It's beautiful. very similar, but we also have the custom 24, which is around the right, corner. We'll break the that corner. out in a We'll break that out as well. That's cool, man. Yeah. So, first of all, what first got you into PRS guitars? What, uh, I, uh, for me, it's about the fact that Paul's got everything just tied down, bolted down, absolutely right. I think that the scale length being halfway between Fender and mm -hmm. the Gibson scale length just sits perfectly. It's not too floppy when you yeah. bend like a Gibson and it's not too, too much of a struggle to get a good bend in when it's, uh, when it's on the Fender type scale length. So, um, I'm guessing that that's, that's how you feel about it as well. So here's the deal. Um, I have maybe three or four main guitars and they're all completely different. Right. Only one of them is a PRS. And I had played about, I don't know, maybe nine or 10 PRSs and didn't fall in love with them. You know, obviously the quality was there and the consistency, but I never found the one that I couldn't put down. And I only buy guitars that I literally can't walk, I can't not have. Whether it's a new guitar, used guitar, yeah. and all my guitars are very different. Until I tried the 594. The PRS 594 um, literally changed the way that I play. The neck, there's something about the neck that it picks up all the little nuances of my playing, anybody's playing obviously, um, in a way I'd never heard before. And I actually started to do more of a up and up and back, uh, kind of like violin style vibrato. Nice. Instead of the yeah. Because I could hear that subtle difference, and I realized in my own playing, which by the way, for all you people out there, if you don't listen to your own playing, do it. It's just like when you watch your own videos. You... Hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but no, when I started to listen back on that guitar, I was like, man, my vibrato is uh, not as good as it should be. And so that guitar changed the way I play. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that is just a, a perfect example of the quality of, of a PRS guitar. Absolutely. I've got a couple of SEs. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the American ones are a little bit rich for my blood at the moment. Yeah. But um, I absolutely adore playing it. And my main one is the Custom 24 SE uh, limited edition with the maple fingerboard. Adore that dude, guitar. Dude, for the money, the quality is... Oh, it's, it's, you can't yeah, beat it. It's, it's true. You really can't beat it's it. True. Although, actually, now that I've picked up American ones, I think I might be going away from here a little bit lighter. <laughs> I, don't think the for, I don't think that was for sale. No, no, no. I don't think you're done it. I you're, think they're back is, ordered like 18 months or something. So this is... Don't quote me on that. This is the John Mayer model. <laughs> yes. And there's been quite a lot of uh, talk about it online. And it's, it's a Marmite guitar, isn't it? it dude, when, I, when PRS let me borrow that guitar to do a review, um, it got so much, I mean, there's just so much hate on that guitar. It, it, it just insane. Yeah. But anybody that picks it up, like, it's, it's kind of true. I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to put words in your mouth. You, is this the first yeah, time playing I, yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I, what I, do you I, think? I just think it's absolutely awesome. It's really... It's got just that... Um, when you back off the volume, and we're currently playing through Hughes and Kettner. The Tubemeister, right? The uh, Deluxe 20s, yeah? Yeah. And they're a great amp, and I'm looking forward to doing a bit more of a demo on these later, but you just pull it back off and you've got a sweet, really sweet sustained tone. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get everybody that I talk to this week to teach me something, uh, because my guitar playing sucks by comparison that's, to you guys. That's inaccurate. But what I need to do, <laughs> I, I, I think I've got one from you already, which is to do. So that, that's, that's the biggest thing, especially, so for me, I'm unlike a lot of players who uh, are always trying to, you know, as guitar players, it's so easy to just be choppy and faster and play yeah. more and more and more and more outside. I'm very much on the hunt for the inside, simple melodic lines. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. looking for three notes that get stuck in your head on the way home. You Absolutely. know what I mean? That's the goal. And so it's that style of that style of vibrato. That's you beautiful. know. How it just moves a little bit. Yeah. That's it. And that line doesn't work. You know, if you go, you know, it, I mean, it does if you do normal vibrato, but if you keep it, you know, yeah. 
That's beautiful. You see what man. I mean? Yeah, you hear yeah, the yeah, difference? Yeah. It's it's mellow. Yeah. It's 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 expressive. Yeah. And yeah, I don't I've never chased the speed. I mean I used to do a lot of tapping work, but I've never chased the speed. I think it is all about the hook. Yeah. And about and I, I'm I'm much more of a songwriter. Are you? I, yeah, yeah, I love playing. I love love writing songs. See, that's something I'm just starting to do, and I find it very difficult. Really? Yeah. Oh man, no, I just sit around and I, for, for ever just noodling, you know. Yeah. Oh, da, 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 <laughs> anything that comes out. They just give you a great deal of expression and it, it feels the, the feel straight through from your fingers into the amp is, is absolutely outstanding. But um, I'm not sure with this one that um, I'm that keen on the thinner frets. I think yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's a personal thing. How do you like that radius? A lot of people, so many people, that was the big thing that they do you know, you actually, know, were freaking out about. It's definitely not Fender. It's not. Which is a good thing, isn't it? Because it's not trying to be a Fender. Everybody, everybody that picks it up says the same thing, and it's what no one believes on the internet, that it, you know, you can see what it looks like, mm. but it's not a Fender. But it's also different than a PRS. Like, it feels like something new. Yeah, totally. It's, and it's actually somewhere in between, do you think? It, it is. Like the, like, the neck, I mean, I know it's obviously modeled off, you know, these vintage, amazing guitars, yeah. but that's not what it feels like. It's thick as well. It's yeah. like a baseball bat. It's, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's really quite... Quite a thick neck on that, mm -hmm. and it, um, it's 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 easy in the hand though. It's easy in the hand. I wouldn't say it's a fast neck by any stretch, but that's not his style of playing either, is it, John Mayer? Right. Really, he's it's all feel again. The, the way the guy is. It's true. He's he's a great player. He is amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And I think that the fact that he's gone to PRS is a is a testament to the fact that Paul has got so much right. I, and I know that everybody goes and has their own little sort of brand that they're. Sure that they're cosy with, but I think a lot of players that are field players, yeah. and you, you don't see that many shredders. I mean, a few, but... Certainly. Not that many. They're, they're mainly going to be good, clean field players, and uh, I, I think that's, that's, why, that's why you grab it. So would you say that's what you are? Yeah, I mean, everybody likes to throw some hot licks around. You know what I mean? Yeah. And have some fun. If you can. If you can, sure. Um, but yeah, the, you know, I think every guitar player has different goals and, you know, we all hear different things in our head. You know, mine is very much, I try to be a vocal as much as possible. Simple lines, singing lines, you yeah. know, it's just, that, that is, th that is the goal for me. So why do you struggle to write songs? Well, because I'd never done it before, man. It's just the same as the lead line, you know. Yeah. I was there. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying the stuff that I'm writing is is bad. It's more so. Here's how it's working. Yeah, so good, so good. I had uh, a country uh, girl uh, approach me. She wants to do um, you know pop country tunes. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so she is um, the one coming up with the lyrics and the melodies. And so my job yeah, right. is to make the arrangements. So yeah, she's sending sure. me you know like voice memos. Yeah. You know, and sh and she's giving me like the you know. And I gotta and I gotta figure out that that's a you know, you know what chords that is ex it, right and figure it out and yeah. so that is something uh, new to me because you know uh, besides the online teaching thing I do with GuitarGate you know my main thing has always been 
playing and working cover bands. Yeah, for sure. And doing the wedding corporate thing, because that pays. Which is so different from so, writing. It's so different. Yeah, but it's good stuff. though, because when you play these hits over and over and over again, you kind of internalize the stuff that makes it great, that For people sure. like, you, learn you know? From. And so when you do go to write, I am finding that like, oh, that goes with that, that sounds like this song, you know, and so it does help in that way. I'm just saying it's new. I think um, when you play in a covers band, you're right, absolutely. It, it gives you some technique and some ideas for how you might feed into your own uh, writing. But why I love doing originals was because there's no wrong. <laughs> you, you can never be wrong. That's correct. It's your stuff, you know. So I, I run an online lessons uh, site called guitargate.com. Right. And so I use YouTube and Facebook to drive traffic there. But that's, that is what I do for a living. Yeah. Which is wonderful, and it must Dude. be a real joy to do Dude. that. Get up in the morning and do that for a job. Dude, I, this, this is why I was so excited to come here, because we all make a living with the guitar in our hands, in front of the ca cameras and computers. How crazy is that? It is. It's absolutely mad. I, and I support a family with the guitar in my hand <laughs> in front of cameras and computers. It's, it's an insane sentence, and it's one that you couldn't say 10 years ago. No, it just wasn't around. YouTube is a really quite a young infancy phenomenon, isn't it? Yeah, 10 years. Facebook's yeah. 12, Instagram's oh, five years old. Crazy. Like, it's just like that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, the previously unscalable is now scalable. For sure. And here we are in Germany. I was, I was looking the other day, and I've been doing it for five years, and when I looked at the dates, it was like, that's half of the time YouTube's been going. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But look at what it's given us. In terms of... Um, gear reviews, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, getting product out there really quickly to people and letting people know. And I think with the YouTube stuff, it's really nice that they know that they're getting the honest truth because yeah. none of us generally, um, you're not endorsed, you're not well, not paid to do it by PRS. Yep. I'm certainly not paid by PRS to, to say nice things about it. Just getting the honest truth about it, which is great for the companies as well. Yeah, it's true. And what's so cool, especially for this event, that not only all the other YouTubers come together and people that, or, or artists or whatever, but all the different manufacturers are too. Yeah, for And sure. I think that what the internet's really doing is bringing us together because it's, um, you know, we're kind of forced to, you, yeah. you know? And, and everybody, the rising tide brings all the ships up. Everybody benefits from it. And the, and the people that are astute, the manufacturers, the, you know, the content creators, the artists, um, every, you know, they realize that we're actually not competition. We're all in this together. Yeah, and we're all sure. trying to figure it out because it's so brand new. For sure. And it's good fun. It is good That's fun. That's the main thing. Yeah, man. It is <laughs> really a lot of fun. fun. <laughs> Who gets paid to play guitar? Exactly. <laughs>